What's up, THP? Freddie Kong here. Um, doing some recaps. Had some thoughts in my head. I want to talk about uh, Sunday singles. Um, I didn't want to uh, wait till I got home and try to try to get these thoughts out again. Um, so I thought I'd do it. I got some time. Uh, bear with me. So Sunday morning, um, the gravity of the situation hit me like a ton of bricks. Um, I didn't have butterflies. I wasn't nervous till I got on the first tee, and even then I didn't have butterflies. But I definitely was nervous. I was pacing a little bit, going back and forth. Um, I don't know if it was because I didn't have my security blanket and JT with me. Um, or if I knew the position that we were in as a team and I wanted to make sure that I carried my weight and got, got a point, um, or what it was. I can't, I've thought about it and I think it's just a myriad of, uh, of ideas, a myriad of concepts, a myriad of emotions. Um, the moment in time that we were on the tee box and you're watching everybody go off and everybody was so proud. Um, on that first tee. It was awesome to see. It really was. Um, it went off just in front of the captains. Um, so I got, I, you know, I kept getting, you know, motivation from Jake, which, love you, bro. It was awesome. Um, but my match was against uh, Wicked Cool Bearded Man, who I got to just give a shout out to. He's not, to me, he's not the Wicked Cool Bearded Man. Um, he's just cool. And you meet a guy or you meet people in life that are just genuinely nice for no apparent reason other than it's who they are. It's in their makeup. That's that's my man right there. He's just, he's syrupy nice, you know. It's just, it, it, it would be, I would love to find the one or two people in life that are irritated by him and just kind of slap him upside the head because anybody that's come in contact with Tim Cowett is uh, a better person for it. Well, thanks, Tim. Thanks for being you. Uh, T. Clutch, man, you, uh, I don't want this to sound like an insult because it's not in any way, shape, form, or fashion. I don't know what your handicap is, but I know you play above it, bro. I know you play way above it. Um, your 15th club is your heart. It was amazing to watch you play steady golf. But then, even better, it was amazing to watch you miss hit a shot and be in a situation where you really had no business hitting the shot that you hit and then you pulled it off. And I, I can't get mad at golf like that and I can't stop rooting for it because it's just good golf. Um, not to mention your daughter is you know, I gotta be biased. My baby girl is, is my heart, but your daughter, bro, oh my God. She makes my heart melt. She really does. Um, and I know that Dev loves to talk about people out kicking their coverage, but I gotta tell you, bro, you guys are a good match, you and your wife. You made that beautiful little girl. So, um, props to you. Nate, my man Nate, he was the fourth in our group, and Nate was on the receiving end of T Clutch. And I hate to see holes won with poor play. And again, it's nothing on, on T Clutch because there has to be good play on the other side of that. And um, T Nolan played his butt off. And Nate just had one bad swing on each hole. And even two, he didn't have a bad swing. He absolutely piped it and he got put in the situation that it was just a no-win situation. So I, my heart went out to the guy. Um, a lot of people would have just called it in and been like, you know what? I'm at the Morgan Cup. I'm lucky. Blah, blah, blah. No, 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 Nate. There ain't no quitting, Nate. Texas Nate. Um, my man just kept fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and grinding and grinding and grinding. And then we got to the end. He pushed him to 18, had a legitimate shot. And you know what? To the last putt, Nate didn't give up. He ran that putt by. You guys saw it on the coverage. Um, he didn't try to die it in the hole. He found his line. He went at it. And that's Nate. Finds what he wants to do. He commits to it, and he goes at 110%. So, that being said, 
those were the uh, other three dudes in my group, and as you can tell, I'm very um, passionate about those guys. Um, so my match, a couple of highlight holes. Again, I don't want to bore you guys with every single hole, but uh, first hole um, after my tee shot and after I sucked back the tears a little bit and said something incoherent to JB, whom I don't know if he knows what I said to him, but just in case you didn't understand what I said because I was trying to um, not swallow the um, onion that I had in my hand, um, I said thank you for this experience. Um, it, it hit me on the first tee. You, you know what the Morgan Cup is, but until you're on that tee, and I'm sure it happened to everybody at some point in time, whether it be on the first tee, on the 15th hole, taking a shower, whatever. It hit everybody. It had to have. If it didn't, then I don't know what to tell you. You're missing out. But that's what I said. So first hole, I pipe it down the left-hand side. I'm in great shape. I got a four iron into the green, um, and I cold shank it. Shank it into some freaking gator bush. We find it in the middle. I take an unplayable. I pitch out. I hit a good shot 12 feet behind the hole. I'm putting for bogey. I don't concede because I'm thinking, okay, if I make bogey, I push the hole. Well, anyway, it didn't matter. My man made par. Move on. I'm one down. Um, bounce back. Next hole, make birdie. Um, so we're even. Next hole, um, I hit it middle of the green. I make my putt. Um, I'm one up. He Tim hit a lackluster shot. Uh, fourth hole, pipe drive again. I'm a little gun shy at this point in time because my four iron was doing the chili dance on the first hole, so I didn't want to hit four iron into number four. I had about 215, so I choked down on my hybrid and I hit it pure, just didn't hit it hard enough. Came up short. Um, I bogey that hole, we're back to all square. Um, we go square on the next hole after I piped forward down the middle again. Um, kind of flared my second shot out to the right a little bit. Ended up in the trap. Boom. Um, we, par, we par that hole, we're square. Um, move on to the next hole. Short par four, we're using the long green this time. Um, hit it on the green. Tim kind of hit an errant shot. Boom, I'm one up. Next hole's the par three. Um, I hit it in the trap right. He hits it on the green. Boom, we're square again. So as you can see, we're going back and forth. It's just, it's an all square type of day. Um, it wasn't until we got to 10 and things changed for me mentally. Mentally, as we were driving from 9 to 10, I started thinking about my team, and I started thinking about um, what it would mean to the team for me to get my point if we did win. Um, so I started grinding a little bit. Um, my swing got a little bit more compact. I started going to some go-to shots that I had in my bag. Um, I piped a drive on 10. Um, carried the trees on the right and had um, had um, really what was I at 241 two, in some point I can't remember um, I don't want this to turn into a fish story I had four wood into the green uh, basically um, I pulled it out people say it was Tim said that it was the best shot he's ever seen. I missed it, meaning I missed the shot. Um, I hit it a little low on the face. Um, it just miraculously somehow carried all the way um, over the waist area in front of the green and ended up a foot behind the hole for Eagle. Um, had I not said anything, I could have said, yeah, it was the best shot I ever hit, but it wasn't. I missed it, um, and I felt fortunate that I had that putt um, and we're all yucking it up and he's like you know you got to putt that and I'm like I don't there's no way I'm not going to putt this you got to putt an eagle putt you can't be given an eagle putt um, so I putted it um, I go one up and you know I'm not saying at this point in time 
that the match is over, but I did not, um, I didn't relinquish the lead from that point forward. And it wasn't because Tim didn't play good golf. It's just we both played good golf at this point in time. I had a slight lead. I didn't make too many mistakes coming down the stretch. Um, I may have had one one loose swing, but it didn't result in me losing a hole. Um, I lo- sorry, I, 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 hit, I hit it in the water on, uh, on 16, the par 3, and because I thought I was too up. I was dormy at that point in time, so all I needed to do was hit it on the green and two putt. Um, but Tim put up a great fight. He really did. And this is another one that plays above his handicap. Um, and I'll be honest, when the matchups came out, you know, I'm thinking to myself as I'm looking at him, I'm like, oh, this will be a cakewalk, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's just, it's not a bad way to think. It's just you, if you don't have confidence in your game, then you might as well not even show up on the first tee. And I'm sure Tim felt the same way. You know, I can beat Freddie. I, I, I can go get him. Um, it was just fun. But there was no animosity and there was no ill will about either one of us wanting to to beat the other one's head in. We just wanted to go out there and have a good time. And we talked about it the whole round, you know, that and our families. And, you know, I pray that your your baby, when it comes, is healthy. I really do. I think you're going to be a superb father. Um, you can tell a lot about a person and their personality on the golf course. Um just think that it's just a microcosm of, of people's lives, how they are on the golf course. So, Tim, my hats are off to you, bro. Um, we carried it all the way to the end. Um, you were a gentleman and a scholar. Uh, let me have that last put on 17. I knew what it meant um, at the time. Um, and I was, it was just a special moment to be able to hit that, even though it was a two foot putt. And, I don't think a lot of other people realized what you and I had talked about. So it was it was a big moment for me um, to have helped my team, um, and you make me make the last putt to help them. Um, thank you for that. That was great. So anyway, I mean, Sunday was was great. You know, coming down the stretch, it was fun having everybody behind me. Thank you, you guys. It'll be not sorry. Let me take that back. Everybody behind us. Thank you. It was incredible. It's an incredible show of support. Uh, I've never experienced anything like that with that many people following and watching your shots and you having to pull off good shots. You know, it's one thing to pull off good shots when you're with the rest of your group, but it's another thing to pull off shots in front of your friends and other competitors, you know, that may or may not be judging you. They may may or may not be looking for you to hit a quality shot. That experience in itself was what it was all about. And I would have done the exact same thing. I would have followed whomever I wanted to. And that's the, the, my only, the only regret I have about the Morgan Cup is that I did not get to go back and follow other people's matches. Um, if, you know, if it wasn't because I had to rush and get lunch and go to my next match or what. I, I take that back. I watched a little bit on Caledonia um, alternate shot. But the show of support that you guys put out there for us, aces. And the show of support that you guys put out there for everybody that participated in it, aces. Love you guys. I thought it was fabulous. Um, The Morgan Cup vehicle will keep plugging along. And um, I'm going to be a part of it one way or the other. And mark my words, I will be a part of it one way or the other. I promise you that. Anyway, um, thanks for your time. Thanks for listening to me babble. Um, love you guys. I'm going to do some shout outs a little bit later for everybody that was there. So listen for your names. Talk to you soon. Bye.